This is that was a movie. Like, that was like, this is like that was the an best. experience. That's was like the best thing ever. I mean, oh, by the way, I don't know if we talking about best thing ever, but that was definitely an experience. No, I'm talking about the 4XD that we went to watch Shang Chi. Yeah, so we did watch Shang Chi in 4XD, man, and it was it was it was interesting. It was awesome, man. It was. I had a headache <laughs> a little bit, but at the, at the same time, I felt like I was in the moment, in oh, trying to duck and shit. Lord it was, of mercy. it was interesting. I it will was, say that it was good. And trust me, we need to find something that's near where we live mm-hmm. to watch Spider Man. Yes, <laughs> yes, I truly believe that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's get into it. We talking about Shang Chi. Shang Chi. What you like? What you dislike? Shang Chi. Shang Chi. I want you to go first because. You know how it is. All right, so I enjoyed this movie. This movie, it was beautiful. It was beautiful and it was hard hitting at the same time in a great way. First of all, the fight scenes were fucking amazing. I have not seen fight scenes in a Marvel movie that good, honestly, since Winter Soldier. I thought Winter Soldier to me had the best fight scenes. And I think that this, especially that bus scene, I think that this oh could God. rival Winter Soldier's fight choreography. It was just that good. Family drama is what grounded it. It was funny because sometimes when I was watching it, I felt like, am I watching a Marvel movie or am I just watching like a family drama movie? Mm. And they did a really good job of merging the two. You know what I'm saying? You had your family drama, but you had your fantasy element, definitely your superhero element, and mm. it made you feel like, okay, I'm watching both at the same time. Yep. But there were times where it was like, okay, I'm watching a family drama and that was dope. Mm-hmm. And actually to bring in what another thing that I liked was the villain. Mm-hmm. Okay, we, we had a we had a Thanos slash Killmonger <laughs> complex villain. It just wasn't, I want to take over the world. Mm-hmm. And actually that's a part of the thing I dislike, but I'm gonna just talk about my likes first and then go into my dislikes. But for the most part, like I said, that villain, you know, he, he wasn't bad at all. Like, I, I, I understood where he was coming from. Especially, like, if you lose somebody, mm-hmm. you get it. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. get it. It hits differently. That last battle, I've seen people talk about how it should have been more about him and the Mandarin. And I disagree. I think that because the movie did so well with that conflict, that I was okay that the last scene or that big fight scene it was another cgi fight let's be honest you're not gonna have a marvel especially an epic marvel movie without it Mm. um but i thought it was very very good and like it gave me hope on a different note Mm. to think that like they could do a last avatar ever in the movie hear me out disney i know it's nickelodeon i know it's universal but just like y'all made it work with Sony, y'all can have a conversation and get yes, no. the last airbender is proper to make it happen. For the things I didn't like, I, <laughs> we act as well together. So every time Trevor got on the freaking screen, I was like, yeah, this motherfucker space. again. Space. Y'all need to let him go. Y'all need to let him go. Mm. Okay? And that actually talks about what I didn't like about the characterization of the Mandarin. We were waiting so long to see a badass. And don't get me wrong. There was a couple times when the Mandarin showed his ass. Okay? And I was like, oh, mm. I'm here for it. But for the most part, it was like, all right, again, it was a family drama, so I got it. Mm. But I wanted to see more of the manner and kick ass. Mm-hmm. And that started with the fact that I think the little, I guess, like documentary style thing, mm-hmm. it was all Hell yeah, the King yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. You had them bust Trevor out by killing people. It wasn't just like, okay, we're going to put them to sleep, we're going to knock them out. No, this dude was firing on people, killing him, mm-hmm. right? So I expected if they was going to show Trevor, they was going to show Trevor's bones why we had Trevor just chilling. Lastly, I would say too little of Wong and way too little of Abomination. 
However, I feel like that's those are seats. Mm. Abomination of all people. Mm. Okay, somebody pointed out in the trailer when we did our trailer review and I missed that. And so obviously we saw that. And like of all people, Abomination. So I know that's gotta be a future Marvel, maybe She-Hulk, somewhere along the line, something's gonna happen. Mm. And the fact that like, I felt like Wong should have played a little bit more. I would've mm. wanted to see a little bit more. Yeah. But I was cool with it. That's what I loved, disliked. Let me hear what y'all got to say. Let's hear what he got to say. Let's go. Wow. First of all, I'm going to say this. This movie is perfect. It is classic beyond imagination. Mm. I mean, everything of it was just brilliance, brilliance, on top of brilliance. Because I, I found nothing that is wrong about the movie. Even though, you know, you have a lot of people that will say it's slow in certain areas. I th to mm. me, I think it was fine because it's just a development of the character itself, and mm -hmm. you know, it, it's gonna it's gonna be a bit boring and tedious. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, I can understand what people is trying to say about the movie, but I mean, I, I never mind it. They can literally do a Airbender movie, a last Airbender movie, as you said, and I think that it it fits perfectly because with the whole entire Tai Chi. With the mother that you know that the mother mm -hmm. was doing and everything, mm -hmm. Tai Chi basically can be embalmed in this movie in so many ways to build earth, fire, water, and but, and, and like and, there, and was, such there was several elements you know that I mean? you were saying it, it, it was just mind blowing how they used the whole entire elements of kung fu and Tai Chi together, and it was just awesome. And, and I think they should you know reconsider in doing. Uh, last year been the movie one of the things that I appreciate about Shang Chi is that they use mostly Asian cultures and Asian language within the entire movie and this brings out the author the authenticity mm -hmm. of the entire movie which is perfect and it goes to show that with the with Black Panther how they use that African symbolage and languages and everything that the ties in with everything I personally enjoy seeing stuff like that because Agreed. it shows so much um closeness to the culture itself appreciation so exactly yep. and and you can actually tie in shang chi with being a, a master kung fu because mm -hmm. basically he's like the the master kung fu of the whole entire marvel universe mm -hmm. um talking about uh, uh shang chi simo lu he played it so perfectly mm -hmm. he played his part as um, a kung fu hero turning into another Avenger, knowing that he lost his mother, or you know, he he got so attached to, and the fact that he developed some sort of fear towards his father, and you can see it. Mm. But you know, at the same time, for him to use that 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 acting chops of what he can um, portray as the father, as the the son, sorry and um towards the father and towards the mother both the love that they mm -hmm. have for, for both, both of them, them. yeah you know what i mean he, it, it it spelled wonderful and he i definitely guarantee he will be doing well in the the next set of um avengers movie mm -hmm. okay let's talk about the fight scenes awesome flawless these the two bus fight scene. scene the bus scene and the scene that they were on the scaffolding why why the bus scene is because yes. yo Please remember that they're fighting on a bus. Remember, the most important thing that they had to focus in on is Shang Chi's fighting ability, mm -hmm. and the fact that they showed that within the tight space of that bus, and it wasn't quick, and just the camera angles and everything. Yo, they did perfect on that. Mm -hmm. The the entire fighting scenes on that bus, that bus actually showed are uh, a kind of connected with Jackie Chan movie. I'm not sure if you know Jackie Chan movies. The Jackie Chan movies has this, well, you know, yeah, you probably know. Jackie Chan always uses his environment to fight mm -hmm. with him. And within the movie, he used, especially with the, scaffold, the scaffolding scene when they were uh, like outside the building, mm -hmm. they used that so advantage well. to, to so perfect well. T. And mm -hmm. trust me, I have to give it up to the fighting the, the fight choreographers, the, 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 the stunt coordinators, oh. they did wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful job. And I hope they carry this into 
um, Marvel move the rest of Marvel movies, in sp especially for their fight scenes, because this is what we need in movies. Yeah. So as I was saying, um, parts of the movie was a little bit slow. Yeah, it's slow, and I can understand, especially with the scene with Trevor and all that. I understand why they brought him in because they wanted to tie um, Iron Man three. Um, so I, I literally can cope with that. I can understand it and everything. So I have no issues with that. I'm fine with that. It's a little bit slow. Yeah, uh, it's it's a bit annoying, but I, I definitely can understand. So I don't have much problems or issues with that. I'm a good geek. I'm a bad geek. First, my good geek is the story development of this was perfect. Uh, using the Asian culture and the language and everything through the entire movie perfect the fight scenes i adore the fight scenes keep it up marvel i love yeah. what you're doing with the fight yeah. scenes yeah. a bad geek what I, I i definitely didn't like about the movie was his costume i prefer they use the, the final fight, the final fight costume or? yeah i okay. prefer i prefer they use the costume from in the comic they had this costume where it had a we had a red top mm -hmm. with green gold with gold trimming and a green bottom i'd prefer if they kind of replicate that 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 costume in somewhat bit but i never liked the costume it, it, it didn't do it for me that's just the only thing okay but overall i give this an 8.5 out of 10. 9 out of 10 for me 9 out of 10 for you 9, round, nine yeah. out of 10 for me definitely honestly the only thing that that sold me down was trevor mm. it, it took it literally took me out of watching the movie yeah. and that's the only reason why and i don't think that like I know what you're talking about where it could have been it was a little bit slower especially once they got to the island mm -hmm. oh yeah spoilers um once they got to the island or whatever mm -hmm. but like for me it was Trevor that slowed it Aquafina mm -hmm. she did well I she love did. her in she it. did she brings she did. so much joy in the movie mm -hmm. <laughs> yes she and I thought her comedy spot on she, yeah she I is thought just, her comedy spot on and that's what made awesome even worse because you already had someone to give that comedy relief right when you needed it yeah, and then man. all of a sudden she, you had Trevor Ben Kingsley well. like Ben Kingsley is a great actor but for this I'm like nah yeah, you didn't Aquafina need it did. at all she, she did, was coarse she did, and that's she that well. she did well and this is about to take over actually Lois is about to take over, 10, to rings. Take over 10 rings so if you know yep. what if they show her to be as ruthless as the Mandarin mm. then I will come back and say that wasn't a wasted be. opportunity. She can At be. least we see the Mandarin monk being used in a proper way to be ruthless. And she but if she's used. not going to be as ruthless, which I think like, I'm agree mm -hmm. with you, I think she can, and mm -hmm. I think she will. Mm -hmm. But just if they don't, then it's like, yeah, had a great opportunity to show us a little bit more about this character mm -hmm. than what we saw. But even in that bar scene where he killed them dudes mm -hmm. after they killed his um, wife. Mm -hmm. Shit. And uh, you know, was, so funny. He enough, was. I was she, fucked with. Kanye. She can be in within the MCU and use like the the the, the fighting arena as part of, which you know, would be a part of yeah, a part of of, of her background in and being a part of the Mandarin, the mm -hmm. next Mandarin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all. So if you like what you see, like, share, and subscribe. Look us out for Geek by Heart on Instagram and Twitter. I'm Lainey. I'm JJ. And we are Geek by Heart. Peace. See you when we see you. When we see you.